Hello Internet, I'm Dan. And I'm Chaz, and this is uh, the Wine and Serious Business Show episode... 30. 30. That's the big three zero. Yes, we got a special show for you tonight. Yeah, we're excited. This is getting back to my roots. Um, back when I was young, I used to drink a lot of the uh, the old Concord Great Manischewitz. Um, and I've never tasted Manischewitz yeah. before in my life. Never had any of them. And our Thunderbird and uh, Night Train show was a pretty big hit, so we figured, why not go back to the bottom shelf? Yeah. We Some classic... Alcoholic beverage. Surprisingly, these wines are expensive. Wine. Six dollars a bottle. Yeah. Fascinating. <laughs> but they're kosher, right? That's, what, I guess, what they're going. That's the market they're going after. Sure. Sure. This is considered kosher wine um, for people that have to eat kosher things or drink kosher things. It's what they, this is unfortunately what they have really, all they have actually on the American market in places like, that aren't, uh, don't have a large Jewish community. So, I didn't see any of the kosher wine on the shelf down at Fred Meyer. Wow. Our Fred Meyer has a large uh, wine section. And we don't know much about that, so if, if you're like, oh, a lot of these wines are kosher, if you're really familiar with kosher wines, I'm sure you know we aren't the only ones that would appreciate if you if you posted some of those up. Yep. I'd also like to take a moment to dedicate this this uh, episode to my friend Michelle Premack, who's actually en route to Israel right now um, for some uh, yeah Jewish traditional travel. So, let's pour some out for her. Yeah, right. so let's get right into it. So the first one we have is the uh, the Manischewitz uh, Loganberry, and this is 10% alcohol. It is artificially flavored and artificially sweetened. So I did just did some reading. Uh, corn syrup is used to artificially sweeten these wines. Um, they do that with Australian Shiraz too. But ask David Paris. It would be more of a. I don't find it that way, but so. Got our nice stemware here. The, Lovely the color, color here. Like a nice rosé kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are at room temperature, so we're going to get all of the goodness that these wines can provide us. The full Manischewitz experience. Yeah. So this winery has been around for a long time. It's been around since the late 1800s. Um, wow. Or, or the company has been around since the late 1800s. I believe the winery was founded in like 1929. If Wikipedia is correct. Anyway, um... Smells like candy. Yeah. That's a that's an awful big pour. Is it? Sorry. Getting started. <laughs> Here, I'll trade you. We no, haven't no. tasted it yet. No. I forgot the same. There you go. All right. Now you don't feel so bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> Watermelon, Jolly Rancher, all over the place, I think. Some, yeah, there's a, man, there's a ton of sweet. I don't even know what to, it's just sweet. Artificial floral note. It smells like kind of watermelon Kool-Aid. Yeah, you know? just full on watermelon. But like someone stuck way too much sugar in the Kool-Aid in like three packets. And I guess that's where my palate's at. I couldn't pick out Loganberry even if you know, even if you said it was Loganberry wine. I'm not that familiar with the flavor of them. That's real easy drinking. Yeah, that's really simple. Tastes like Kool-Aid. That's incredible. How much alcohol is in that? Ten percent. Yeah. Wow. So it's got a lot of sugar. Yeah. Right? But. That, and it's got a lot, it's leaving a lot of sugar in the mouth, but it goes down so easy. There's no, like, alcoholic kick. I was waiting for some burn. Yeah. I really yeah. was. I, I was expecting it. Um, wow. Huh. I, yeah, so, so no alcoholic burn, no complexity, very much like Kool-Aid. With, with, like, when you're a little kid, you're like, ah, oh, maybe two packets will be better. I think there was yeah. a reason why I used to drink this when I was young, because it goes down real easy and you don't really have to think about it. So, for what it is, it's nice. Scoring it, like, the very bottom of average. So what's what's that? Like seven, no 75? 70? Yeah. 70, I'll give, yeah. I'll give it below average. So, like, 73. I'll go there. I'll go with 70 even. Um, but that's, that's in the sense of, of wine, specifically. If you... Like drinking Kool Aid. Yeah, I would never buy this again. Check this out, but but yeah, I'll take this down the locker. I mean, that bum will come down to the locker again. Yeah, that'll, you'll make his night. I'm sure. I'm sure. sure. Unless right. we have more night train. Yeah, that would never happen. Again. Pop and pour. Pop and pour. Generally not recommended, but I'm guessing that uh, small rinses. Give him a little time to breathe. Won't uh, won't do a whole lot for him. Oh, wow, that's really small. Small. Dan's, too small? No, that's fine. Dan's being a nice guy. What is this? Blackberry. Mad Chef. It's blackberry. A diverse lineup here. Now, those of you who have watched this taste for a while, read some of our notes. Dick. 
I do that. Okay. There. Um, know, know that blackberries are descriptor we use a lot. There's a lot of blackberries that grow out here in Oregon. They're delicious. A lot of wines have flavors similar to that. Uh, we'll see how this delivers. This is tending more towards like, I don't even know. It's like reduced melted gummy, melted black gummy bears or something like that. Like melted goopy sugar. That's all I really, it's like. Yeah, I did some, some but, blackberry, but the, but the Kool-Aid, uh, Kool-Aid again, just very, right. man. It's darker, it's a little more reduced than this one is. Super sweet. This this corn syrup you said too, yeah. right? Yeah, oh. so we're getting some, uh, yeah. It's classic. <laughs> Trish will be thrilled, I'm sure. Oh yeah, she's going to totally taste these. Not happening. Very little different from the Loganberry. Yep. Darker flavors, and I'm getting I'm getting a little bit of acidic pucker at the back, just a, just a tiny bit. Right. Um, but still the, tons of sugar. Man, the sweetness is still the, the dominant flavor profile of, of, of the wine. Like it's, it's like drinking flat grape soda or something like that. You know, like completely there you go. just just ton just tons of sugar, tons. lots of it. Again, simple and 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 totally. Easy to drink as far as alcohol goes. Actually, if, if, if you drank like two glasses of this, the sugar would be overwhelming. You'd probably yeah. be on some crazy gut sugar. rot. You get the gut sugar rot. buzz. Yeah. yeah. Um, friends talk about you know when you when you drink too much sugared alcohol. Like mm -hmm. Back in the day, you drink the Zimas. You drink the you switch to the Mike's Heart Lemonade, and then you go to whatever else that's sugared. Is that a fact? This is it's you get the gut rot. <laughs> 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 I don't know, I, I'm just from what, basing off what my friends have said. Oh. Um, yeah, you, you get the gut rot, and uh, this this would provide some serious gut rot, I think, after a few glasses. I'm, I'm I'm nervous about that as we as we push forward. Anyway, this is a, I like this better than the Logan Berry. This will this will go all the way up to 72 points for me. Um, I still don't know. I'm not saying gummy bears. Yeah, gummy bears and grape soda. Now I'm trying to think of like maybe mixing it in with some sort of dessert or something. I'm not That's excited perfect. about it. You took a bunch of gummy you jammed them in your mouth, you're chewing them up, you take a big mouthful of flat grape soda, that's what I'm kind of tasting. Nice, yes. Drinking soda while eating candy. It's been a long, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been there. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, had flashbacks. I like 16 years old. Yeah, yeah. All right. Pop and pour. What do we got next? Pop and pour. Gold cap. Concord grape. Concord, this one's special, right? This is the one that's special. special. Yeah, I used to drink this one all the time when I was younger. I don't remember it being, well, it used to be $3 a bottle back in the day. Um, so I'm really not so happy with, you know, inflation, whatever. You could pay a little more for your... And not corn syrup, you said, right? That's the thing. I remember these alcohol, these wines being less alcohol in them. So, hmm. I don't know. It's, this, is, oh, this one's 11%. Oh. You might get some burn on this one. We'll see. i clean that out well, that shirt from the last one influenced it. <laughs> Noticeably different, <laughs> even on the rinse. What are you doing this weekend? Uh, going to the Newport Seafood and Wine Festival. Um, it's kind of a riot. I mean, it, it's, it's basically just a bunch of tents down by uh, the Newport docks, and they do a whole bunch of seafood and wine, obviously. But it's, there's a ton of people in it. And so it's pretty crazy. It's like kind of hard to get taste sometimes. Are you expecting a lot of good wine or just a wide range? Of a wide range. Um, really, a lot of a lot of the like larger wineries show up there. The ones that do mass production over quality. So um, I'm looking forward to going because I'd, I'd like to go. So you're, taste, there, you're down taste. there to drink mass. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. So it's, it's actually pretty funny. I've got, I've got friends that go to this thing, to or, or people that I know, I should say. They go there. They get a house. They don't even drink wine. They go in there and they just pick up women because it's like I guess it's it's that easy. Wow. They sit and they they, they stay down there for the entire thing for for both nights, Friday night and Saturday night, and they that's what they do. So to you guys, you guys have never watched this show or whatever. Uh, all right, so. Concord Grape.